Bonjour, Montreal. How are you? Oh, so nice. Well, if you couldn't tell by my outfit, I am, um, I've been aggressively gay. <laughs> I've been aggressively gay for two years now. <laughs> yes. I used to be very docile, neighborhood homosexual. <laughs> I, um, I, my youngest brother uh, actually uh, was recently married, um, and I was not invited to the wedding. <laughs> no, it was, he, he, it was just a last minute thing. He didn't think I could make it. It's, we're fine, I love him very much. This is about what my mother did at my brother's wedding, which is insane. Um, my brother, a few months before he got married, uh, converted to Islam, which I think is fantastic. If you, whatever religious journey he wants to go on, I'm gonna support him no matter what. But that doesn't, thank you. But that doesn't matter because I was not invited to the wedding. <laughs> However, um, I'm, I'm Ethiopian, that's why I look perfect. Uh, <laughs> And we're one of the oldest Christian nations, so my mother is extra crispy Christian. Like, she, <laughs> she knows all the herbs and spices to make religious fury. <laughs> so when she found out my brother converted, she got very upset. They had a big fight, but my brother at the time assumed it was resolved. Fast forward to his wedding, his last minute wedding. Uh, no one informed my mother that I'll be at a mosque until she showed up to a mosque, <laughs> which is too late for her to find out. So she was being nasty, just mean, vicious, just angry at everyone. But they were like, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Once the ceremony starts, there's no way she'll act out. <laughs> that ain't how she works. So the ceremony starts and the imam uh, politely asked the parents of the bride and the groom to come stand next to their child. My brother's wife, her dad runs right up like a good person. <laughs> My mom, however, doesn't move a muscle, goes, no! <laughs> then she takes her chair, picks it up, turns around to face the exact opposite direction of her son's wedding, and then sits back down like a child on timeout. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> everyone in the mo, like everyone's just like, this is weird. But they're like, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We'll just keep going. There's no way she'll act out again. <laughs> no, that ain't how she works. They f so, so they get to the, most of the ceremony, they actually get to most of the ceremony, and then they're finally at their final vows, their everlasting words of devotion to each other which were in Arabic, a language my mother speaks fluently. <laughs> so during their final vows, my mother gets up and says the following words out loud in a mosque in Arabic at her son's wedding. Your God is not real. <laughs> there is only one real God. Um. So that's the part of the wedding where you have to kick my mom the hell out. And they did, they dragged her out before she went full African Donald Trump on everyone. <laughs> and the entire time she's yelling, this is a Christian nation as they push her into a car. <laughs> but the worst part of this whole situation, the worst part, um, I was not invited to the wedding. <laughs> this is all secondhand information. Do you understand? I have been dreaming of kicking my mother out of my gay ass wedding <laughs> ever since I was a little girl, okay? <laughs> and my younger heterosexual brother beat me to it with a loophole. I didn't know she was Islamophobic. <laughs> and didn't even think to invite me. <laughs> now I have to have my wedding at a mosque on top of a synagogue in the middle of a Buddhist temple. <laughs> and you know what? 
everybody here is invited to my wedding. <laughs> you guys have been so wonderful, Montreal. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Yeah.